profound. Oh, hi, hi. I didn't see you there. Hi, how you doing? Um, so I'm giving you a quick update on something very, very special Star Wars related because um, Jeremy's too lazy to do it himself, so I'm here telling you. Any theme park fanatics in the audience? Let me hear you, let me hear it. Uh, of course I can't hear you, silly gooses. It's just me talking to a camera by myself. Anyways, if that wasn't sad enough, let's talk about this state of Star Wars, which is um, sad. But we have a kind of a bright, bright light in the future at the end of the tunnel that can maybe symbolize death or a new life, a new birth, which, well, we won't know. What we do know is the opening dates for Galaxy's Edge. Yes, Star Wars land that is opening on Disney World and Disneyland accordingly, now they have release dates. And those release dates happen to be May 31st in Anaheim and to the Orlando Disney World is going to be August 29th. So now you know when the doors are going to be opening for the parks. Now, what we do know is that uh, this Galaxy's Edge is going to focus solely on the sequel movies. They're not going to really tie anything back to the original trilogy except for a couple of nods to like Mos Eisley. Like we're going to have new dishes that are going to talk about creatures from the original trilogy like fried banta was something like a or, or or banta something banta something is either a drink or a beverage that they have obviously they have the million of falcon but all of this rides all of this land will be themed 99 percent to the sequel trilogy uh we've 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 gotten releases um of the foods of the costumes all of that you can find easily online but the more the most important thing is do you want to go now personally the moment i heard star wars theme park what i was completely excited blown out of proportion because i mean it's like a dream come true but but here comes the but um Am I interested anymore? And honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know what I can say about it because the state of Star Wars is not necessarily at its peak. And knowing that I'm not going to see any kind of reference to the Star Wars that I love, because, I mean, let's be honest, I don't love the new Star Wars. And that's the Star Wars that they're promoting. So the fact that I'm going to go to the to the store and I'm not going to be able to buy Luke's lightsaber. I'm going to be buying Ray's lightsaber. Or the fact that I'm not going to be able to say, oh, I want Darth Vader's lightsaber. But they're going to have Kylo Ren's lightsaber. I mean, of course they're going to have Darth Vader's lightsaber and stuff like that. But again, the whole theme, the whole story of that theme park is the sequel trilogy. The rights are not going to feature the original trilogy. It's going to be solely based on the new Disney uh, Star Wars. So because of that, it's like I have no connection to those movies. Therefore, it makes the theme park a little bit less magical. Or am I just crazy? What do you think? What's your opinion on all of this? Are you excited for Star Wars Land? Uh, are you going to go? Personally, I'm going to go. But not for opening day. Um, I don't know. <laughs> because honestly, uh, I, I am more interested in going to the opening of Harry Potter's new ride at Universal Orlando Resort than I am for Star Wars. Yeah. I'm more excited for the opening of a new ride than the opening of an entire world. That speaks volumes. But anyways, you tell me your opinion. You tell me how you feel about this situation in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you later.
Oh, yes. Bye.